any magical thoughts generate any frustration, anger, or whatever within you, then that's because of your magical thinking. So tonight is a cool night. I like the section we've landed on. Um, I'm going to bounce around a little bit. So because there's two sections I want to read from back in the manual for teachers. And now this should speak to anybody that seems to be challenged by somebody else's state of mind or state of being or behavior. Um, you know, the, the course says that anybody like that, that shows up in your life, they're being sent to you, right? There are no accidental meetings. They are your student. You're here to teach them and you are their student. They're here to teach you. But if their upset becomes your upset, their magical thinking uh, becomes any kind of upset for you at all. And magical thinking really just means um, any belief that it's possible for something to be created outside of what God created. That's magic. The world is magic. The world we, as we know it is magic. Illnesses are magic. Conflict is magic. You know, healing of illnesses and conflict through, you know, worldly means, that's all magic, right? But of course, as of any, any magical thoughts um, generate any frustration, anger, or whatever within you, then that's because of your magical thinking. And so to bring magical thinking to magical thinking is the big mistake, right? And it actually fosters their magical thinking will foster yours as yours as well and so you know if you're trying to support somebody coach them and you're getting frustrated or, or trying to battle against their magical thinking you're making the same mistake yeah. they are i want to drop to the separation and the atonement as a sort of an intro uh, to help give us an understanding of you know what a magical thought is or magical thinking so a major step in the atonement plan is to undo error at all levels. So remember atonement, the plan for atonement, capital A, is what we're living out right now. God's plan for atonement, which is really just the undoing. You could read the word atonement as the undoing of the illusion, right? Or another way to see it is the at one minute atonement, undoing the illusion of separation and remembering our connection to everyone and everything, our oneness. And so once we created, once we had the fall and we created this illusion of separation, God immediately responded to that by sending in the Holy Spirit and this plan for bringing us back to our sane minds. And that is the plan for atonement. So a major step in the atonement plan is to undo error at all levels. Sickness or not right mindedness. So all sickness is not right-mindedness. Sickness or not right-mindedness is the result of level confusion because it always entails the belief that what is amiss on one level can adversely affect another. We have referred to miracles as the means of correcting level confusion for all mistakes must be corrected at the level on which they occur. Only the mind is capable of error. The level of mind capable of error only the mind is capable of error. The body can act wrongly only when it is responding to missed thoughts. This means act in behavior. This means act in health or illness. It's, it's responding to missed thought. So that's all that's happening. The body can act wrongly, but only when it's responding to your mind and the misthinking of the mind. The body cannot create and this is what magical thinking is. The belief that the body can create something the mind has no control over. That's magical thinking. That's magic. It's not creation, right? So the body cannot create and the belief that it can, a fundamental error produces all physical symptoms. The belief that the body can create something your mind does not want is what creates all physical symptoms of illness 
That's really wild. If you really think about it, because on one hand, it's sort of like that, you know, it's hard to believe that. But the other hand, it's like, well, if that's true, there is nothing you can't overcome. Nothing that the mind cannot overcome. If you get this, fully get it, right? So the body cannot create and the belief that it can, a fundamental error produces all physical symptoms. Physical illness represents a belief in magic. That's the belief that something could be happening outside of your mind. The whole distortion that made magic rests on the belief that there's a creative ability in matter, which the mind cannot control. So this is the world of matter, right? Physical matter. And the belief that matter can do something to you that your mind cannot control is, is a magical belief. That's magical thinking. And the truth is, it's the exact opposite. Matter is at the mercy of your mind. Your mind matters. Your mind matters. It makes matter. Matter is the result of mind. It can never be the other way around. And that is level confusion. You know, the mind is higher than matter, right? Matter is a lower level of thinking. And, and to believe that matter can affect mind or cause something to the mind, the mind doesn't want is a magical thing. It's not possible in reality. So this error can take two forms. It can be believed that the mind can miscreate in the body or that the body can miscreate in the mind. When it is understood that the mind, the only level of creation cannot create beyond itself, neither type of confusion need occur. So what we're generating in our body or in the world through our belief systems is not creativity it's not creation there's nothing actually being created we're making something in the illusion show up um, but it's not real we're making it show up in the illusion in the play that's being played out but you know it's not possible the mind can only create in mind it doesn't create in matter so a confused mind or a sick mind can come up with an illusion, a hallucination in its mind. And in that hallucination, it can make all kinds of things happen, right? Like a body can happen and a sick body can happen and a sick relationship can happen and a sick bank account can happen. And, you know, on and on and on. The mind can make that happen in its hallucination, but it will never make it real. It will never make it true. So mind creates at the level of mind and only at the level of mind. And God created us at the level of mind. Do not create you to be a limited body, a limited bag of bones and water. He did not create. That is not what God created. That's what we did in our hallucination of ourselves. Thank you for joining us for today's quick video of the Course in Miracles Discovery Meeting. If you want to watch the full version and be able to jump into the live stream and participate, please click below and join the Miracle Makers community. We are here to make miracles together, to make miracles happen for you and for the greater community as a whole. So please click below, become a member of the Miracle Makers community. I look forward to seeing you there. Thank you.